Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, August 14th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got some day action followed by some night games. So we're getting into it now. No waiting around. 3.40 Eastern start time. Colorado Rockies, Arizona Diamondbacks. NL West battle between number two in the standings. That's the D-backs in the Rocks sitting at the bottom, but they got Tanner Gordon on the hill. He's up against Jordan Montgomery, the lefty going for the Diamondbacks, minus 230. That's Arizona as the home favorite, nine and a half being the total. I bring up Tanner Gordon going for the Rocks. He's actually one of their better prospects right now. 26-year-old out of Indiana, the former Hoosier, the rookie, back-to-back -back solid starts, 23-3 to strikeout to walk ratio. I have him circled his bet on. I mean... 23 to three strikeout to walk five starts this season, short sample size. But I mean, to catch nearly $2 here, I think it's a little bit low price guys. He's up against Jordan Montgomery. Um, the 31 year old out of South Carolina, the former Gamecock. I mean, 17 starts this season. He signed late with the diamondbacks and it was kind of money wasted. He's got over a six ERA on the season, 108 hits and 81 innings pitched. Not really looking to bet on Montgomery. I mean, Arizona playing good baseball overall. One of the hottest teams in baseball, actually. I mean, since the All-Star break, what, they've won like 16 of 19. It's just the Colorado Rockies, a little more under the radar, guys. But they, they're winners of two of their last four, both as big underdogs. They lost by one on Monday night. I mean, I think the Rockies were the shot here. Top prospect on the hill. Let's go plus 197. The big dog barking in the desert to start us off daytime action. About 30 minutes later, we got 410 Eastern Pittsburgh Pirates, San Diego Padres. Mitch Keller on the hill for the Pirates. Martin Perez on the hill for the Pods. Minus 130. That is the Friars is the home favorite. Total of eight. Game three of the series. Pittsburgh comes in. Man, they've had a rough go of it. They've lost eight straight games, one pending as I'm doing the show right now, but not necessarily a, a profile looking to bet on. Their pitcher, Keller, last time out on this road trip, by the way. So this is the second start of a West Coast road trip. Sometimes that's not necessarily a bet on situation, particularly when the first time out against the Dodgers, four innings, seven earned runs, two home runs given up. So he's up against the Padres lineup here that's number two in baseball against righties. Could, could see them having a couple crooked numbers against Keller. And Martin Perez, just his, what, third start with the Padres since being traded. The 33-year-old Venezuelan in the first two starts, they were great. Only three earned runs given up in his last three starts combined. Mentioned that Padres lineup against righties, 17-3, and three, their last 20 since the All-Star break. Padres bet on all the way, listing Martin Perez as the starter. We can get him as low as minus 128 in the overnight market. So uh, the next day game, we are on the Padres over the Pirates. Heading to the night slate, up next, 640 Eastern time. It's the St. Louis Cardinals in the Cincinnati Reds. NL Central battle here with Kyle Gibson on the hill for the Redbirds. Carson Spears going for the home Reds. Nine and a hook being the total. Cardinals minus 108 short road favorites. Coming in just, what, a game or two over 500. They have lost three straight, not playing their best baseball. But Gibson on the hill, six innings, two hits against the Cincinnati Reds earlier this season, you know, in division facing the same lineup. So that's pretty good pass performance. He's got a four ERA, four FIP on the season. He's up against Spears here. Five innings, eight earned runs his last time out with four walks as well. So control issues there, getting knocked around. He's lost his last two starts. I think St. Louis, you know, they have the offensive advantage by the metrics and they got the better starter, at least by uh, by my kind of handicapping here, guys. So near pick em price tag, lay 108 to win 100. That's on St. Louis over Cincinnati in the first night game. Same time, 640 Eastern for the next matchup, Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Guardians, an NL Central, NL, uh, AL Central matchup here. Alex Cobb going for Cleveland, Jamison Tyon for Chicago. Eight in the hook being the total, minus a dollar and a quarter. That's Cleveland as the home favorite. 70 and 49 on the season. 
plus 14 units year to date, kind of quietly too. Cleveland doing it 36 and 20 at home. They're a team I'm not looking to go against. They've won four straight games. They got Cobb on the hill. If you're kind of looking for something to maybe go against, it's a 36 year old out of Vero Beach High School, not far from where I'm talking right now. It's his only his second start of the season. And he had kind of a rough go of it against the Minnesota Twins his last time out. Although the velocity was there, he was around the plate. So I think he's kind of taken a little bit of a step down against the Cubs, although they have put up decent offensive metrics. So I, I could see him having a, a, a decent start overall. It's more about Jamison Tyon, the Cubs starter here, the 32-year-old out of Woodlands, Texas, blown up in two of his last three starts. And that was against the Reds and the White Sox. So now he's going up against the Guardians, a better lineup than both of them. I think he's going to have a rough go of it. I mean, what the Cubs are under 500. They lost the first two of this series. Granted, both close games, but Cleveland playing good baseball here. And Cobb is is a guy that, you know, his velocity is there, even though it's only his, you know, second start. I, I think he's still bet on. 25 cents. It's short. Let's go with the Guardians over the Cubs. Got one game left here, guys. A reminder, if you could smash that like button, comment below. It helps out the algorithm. We're breaking down the Wednesday slate here. And if you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Drew Martin, Wager Talk. Uh, we got the... Uh, three-day package or actually the seven-day package excuse me for the price of three days so that's a pretty good buy there at wagertalk.com if you like saving money all right 710 last game up it's the oakland a's new york mets david peterson the lefty on the hill for the metropolitans joey estes going for the a's minus 190 that's the mets is the home favorite eight in the hook being the total Athletics come through with a big dog for the win last night. Now they've won three straight games and up against the Mets here. I mean, what they've lost four straight now, getting swept by Seattle and then now losing the the opener back home. Guys, we went over it yesterday, a big spot play of why we were going against the Mets. The travel, be quick with it here, New York. Then they went to L.A., St. Louis for one game at Colorado, at Seattle, now back to New York. And they've only played the first game of this series is their only home game of the month of August. And sometimes that catches up with teams. Sure enough, uh, they've dropped, uh, what, four straight games now. I guess one reason to kind of look to bet on the Mets, though, the 28-year-old first-rounder out of Oregon, David Peterson, he's been pretty good this year. He really has. And he's never faced the Oakland, at, the Oakland A's, so that's usually a bet on. The only thing is Joey Estes going for the A's. He's a rookie 16th rounder out of high school in 2019. I mean, 16th rounder out of high school just a few years ago. You normally don't see that profile already in MLB, but the 22-year-old, they obviously some, see something in him. And sure enough, his last five starts, he's been great. No more than two earned runs given up. That includes lineups like the Phillies and the Dodgers. So I think you could have a solid start here, especially with kind of the cobwebs from all that travel and the Mets lineup. Hey, look to go against them. They're a bottom five lineup in, over the last two weeks overall by weighted runs created plus. So, hey, let's let's kind of pile it on here, guys. We were on the A's last night with a big dog, plus 165 in this one. Let's end it. Oakland A's plus 165 over the Mets. In recap, uh, we had the Cleveland Guardians minus the dollar in the quarter over the Cubs. We had the St. Louis Cardinals minus 108 over the Cincinnati Reds. San Diego Padres, Martin Perez on the hill, minus 128 over the Pirates. And the first game we broke down, first game up, 340 Eastern. It's the Rockies, big dogs, plus 197, near $2 over the Arizona Diamondbacks with their prospect, Tanner Gordon on the hill. So that does it for Drew's Daily Diamond, Wednesday, August 14th. We'll be back tomorrow. Come back and join us, guys. Smash that like button. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.